what I got in the mail yesterday. Carrie Soto's book by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Hi guys, welcome back to Belle's Books. I have been so excited for this book to come out. I think I've read nearly everything Taylor Jenkins Reid has written. Um, so I just couldn't wait for this because I loved her previous books. If you'd like to watch some live reactions and keep reading, um, I highly recommend that you read the book before watching this video. I won't put any spoilers in, it'll literally just be my reactions and um, my thoughts at the end of it. Um, so this is a book about a tennis champion called Carrie Soto. It's set in the same universe as all of Taylor Jenkins Reid's um, other famous books. Um, so like Daisy Jones and the Six, Malibu Rising, um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, all of those books. Um, so Carrie Soto is an incredible tennis player and she is coached by her father. At the beginning of the book, after her retirement, um, she sees that her kind of lifetime achievement, um, her record, taken from her by um, another tennis, another female tennis player. And so she makes a decision, despite being 37 and almost too old to kind of succeed at tennis anymore to come out of retirement and be coached by her father for one last year. So I've just made myself a cup of tea. Yep, that is tea. And we can go and get reading. So far, I'm really liking it. One of the things that like, Jenkins Reid does really well is just make her book so readable. Um, there's a lot of dialogue which really helps the flow and really helps you kind of propel yourself through. I'm on page 110 um, but it just feels like it's going so quickly and I think one of the reasons for that is because there's so much dialogue so it's kind of like less words but also I feel like with dialogue it helps you read a bit quicker um, because like if there's a long descriptive passage or something you kind of have to force your mind to imagine what the author's creating and that takes more time so then you read slower whereas with dialogue when books are kind of like plot driven or dialogue driven I feel like you can kind of just um, make up your own thing and your mind can like imagine something much quicker. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's pretty much what I think. She's doing that classic thing that she likes to do where she kind of incorporates different mediums. Um, so we're getting a couple of interviews, a couple of articles, um, as well as like the main prose of the text. So far, it's definitely not my favorite. And obviously I don't know how it's gonna end yet. So it could still be my favorite, I don't know. So I'm gonna stop reading for a little bit. Um, and I will chat to you later when I pick it back up. Got a snack, got my book, and I'm just going to settle down and read for a bit over lunch. Like, I really am enjoying it. But the thing that I'm struggling with is I don't really know how to play tennis. Like, I know how to play tennis, actually. But I don't know anything really specific. And honestly, it's making it really hard for me because there are whole, like, sentences and phrases and almost paragraphs where they're talking about strategy or technique or how the game works or whatever. And my eyes just kind of glaze over reading them because I'm like, oh, well, I don't really know what that means. So I just kind of skip it in my head, which is so stupid to do. But I just feel like I'm not going to appreciate this book as much as someone who actually knows tennis is going to appreciate it. And I also just don't see how it's going to be one of my favourites. So yeah, that's where I'm at with it so far but I'm gonna keep reading. Okay you know what the book is actually growing on me despite all of the tennis. I am really enjoying reading about Carrie Soto and Bo Huntley's relationship. You're really seeing the characters like kind of change and become better versions of themselves or try to become better versions of themselves. Taylor Jenkins Reid is really good at writing dynamic rather than static characters. Um, so the characters in this book are really developing, especially Carrie Soto. So you kind of see that change occurring and you see those characters trying to like make a difference and be slightly different. It makes the book so much more engaging when that's the case.
Well, that was a very enjoyable read. Wow. I liked the ending. I saw it coming though. So she plays four slams and I knew which ones she was going to win and which ones she was going to lose from the very beginning. So I think it was a little bit predictable, which initially just makes me feel a bit like, oh, it's not going to be one of my favourites. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not going to go down on my list as like top 10 books ever. I don't think it is ever going to be one of my favourites. <sighs> but it was really good and I'm really glad I read it. I mean, just the fact that I binged it today kind of speaks volumes. So don't for a second think that I don't recommend this book and it's a definite four stars from me. Her writing is just incredible. There is something very bingeable about the way that she writes um, because I think that is a difficult thing to do and I think it is hard to replicate in book after book after book. I loved reading about Carrie's relationship with her father, about the fact that she kind of grew throughout her life and that she was still growing even at age kind of 35, 40. The hope that we can all continue developing um, and can continue growing throughout our lives was something that I really enjoyed reading about. It's not a romance, it's realistic fiction and I really do recommend you read it but I wouldn't say dash to the bookstore to buy it necessarily. Yeah I really enjoyed it and I'd be really interested to know your thoughts. Please do leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. Have a great day and I will see you again soon!